ZomaGodAtCJ.com. Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from ZomaGodAtCJ.com, and this is our final verdict on the Nokia Booklet 3G. So as you can see, the size of the Nokia Booklet 3G was definitely a plus point for us. Um, we really like the finish and the build quality. Um, definitely one of the uh, best build quality uh, laptops that we've had to check out. We liked the fact that there are three USB ports there and the HDMI that was definitely useful. Um, there's a little line out uh, headphone jack also over there. The speakers are not that great though. Um, you won't really be able to use it for much unless you're in a really really quiet place. Um, the SD slot and the SIM card slot are pretty okay I guess. The um, SIM card slot is useful if you want to send text messages from your booklet 3G or use the 3G of your network provider to um, surf the internet from your booklet 3G. Um, and that's the charging adapter cable thingy right there. So yeah, build quality wise we really like the Nokia Book 3G. The keys were definitely a plus point. Everybody I know liked the keys a lot. Uh, even the trackpad is pretty okay. The buttons over here seem a little bit hard and noisy to use but uh, not too bad. Um, the notification icons over there which light up are pretty useful. Uh, and the screen is actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't really have many problems with the screen. The reflective layer that they've used might be a little bit annoying, but uh, nothing too bad. Of course, like the screen and the top of the Nokia Booklet 3G are fingerprint magnets. You'll have to keep it clean uh, if you want to show it off with a lot of friends of yours. So you might carry a, you might need to carry a cleaning cloth with you uh, for these things. Now when it comes to software, that's where the Nokia Booklet 3G seems to disappoint. It runs Windows 7 Starter Edition, as you can see there, which isn't too great. Um, you can't do much with Windows 7 Starter Edition, and it does lack much of the flair that our Dell computer has with uh, Windows 7 Ultimate running on it. So yeah, that is a problem, but you could, I guess, upgrade the OS. Um, or install a Linux uh, OS onto this thing or a Hackintosh, I've heard people installing Hackintosh on the yeah, Nokia Booklet 3G's so yeah um, though well for what you're paying for I don't think they should have shipped Windows 7 Star Edition with this but that's just one thing um, hardware wise there's only 1 GB of RAM right there you can see that right there which means you can't do much on the Nokia Booklet 3G so the Nokia Booklet 3G is definitely not a workhorse you can't upgrade that RAM because the 1 GB of RAM is soldered onto the motherboard so that's something that might be annoying for a couple of people but as a netbook which is only um, for internet surfing and a couple of blogging things here and there I think the Nokia book with 3G is pretty good also something I think is worth mentioning is that the battery life on this thing is freaking amazing um, like you can see over there we have how much do we have we have about two hours remaining. Um, we've gotten about 10 hours out of this uh, Nokia Booklet 3G with uh, Wi Fi usage and a couple of things here and there. So we were definitely impressed with the battery life. Uh, that's something we really, really liked. The GPS and the 3G, I guess, are the um, points of interest for the Nokia Booklet 3G, like we mentioned in a video before. the. GPS doesn't work unless you have an active 3G connection. Um, I don't think you can see it right there, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, at the end of the day, is the Nokia Booklet 3G worth the price? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I'm hoping Nokia releases a cheaper version of the Nokia Booklet 3G without um, the built-in GPS and the built-in 3G. Because that I would buy, probably, if the price is okay. But as of right now, the Nokia Booklet 3G is a pretty good machine. Um, you can't do much with it. But it's not worth the price right now. For more on this, check out our post on SoMyGodIt'sCJ.com. If you have any comments or any questions, do let us know in the comment section below.